Hello friends, how are you all? My name is Harshi Dwedi friends and I welcome you back to my video. So in this video friends, I am going to talk about open market operations to talk in the context of United States of America and India both. Before starting this video friends, I would like to tell you that if, if you want to watch the Hindi version of the video, the link is given in the description box below and if you want to follow me on Instagram, the link of that is also given below. You can connect to me on Instagram, you can clarify your dots from me on Instagram. So basically what are open market operations? These open market operations are operated by the central bank and between the commercial bank. Basically in the case of USA, the central bank is the Federal Reserve and there are many commercial banks. In the case of India, the central bank is the Reserve Bank of India and commercial banks. So before starting with this thing friends, first of all we should have a look at the definition. This definition is a reproduction from the website of Wikipedia. So basically what is an open market operation? It is an activity by the central bank which in the case of USA is the Federal Reserve, in the case of India it is RBI. So what this central bank does, either it increases the liquidity in the economy or it decreases the liquidity in the economy and by liquidity we mean the currency, the flow of money, the flow of cash. Okay, and how this central bank does this? It does this by selling government bonds or you can say government securities or you can say treasury securities or you can say treasury bonds. So basically either the government bonds are sold by the central bank in the open market or they are purchased by the central bank in the open market. And basically this open market operation is one way of implementing the monetary policy of a central bank. The monetary policy of USA is decided by the Federal Reserve. The monetary policy of India is decided by the Reserve Bank of India. And open market operation is one tool of implementing the monetary policy of any particular country by a, its central bank. So what these open market operations are doing, they are changing the liquidity in the economy and why they do this because they want to manipulate the short term interest rate. The short term interest rate is federal fund rate in the case of United States of America and rep repo rate in the case of India that I am going to talk about after some point of time. Please. Now what are basically open market operations? This is the central bank first we are going to talk about in the context of USA because in USA open market operations are very much developed. In India, the markets of government, government securities is not very much developed. Basically, this market is very developed in USA. So, first we are going to see the context of USA and then compare it to India. In the link below, friends, I have also explained you the connection of federal fund rates and the Indian repo rate and how federal fund rates is more connected to the global economy. Also, I am going to compare the type of government securities which are available in USA and the type of government securities which are available in India. Everybody in India who is watching this video, kindly notice that you need to understand each and every aspects of our economy from the capitalistic model of USA because each and every model of economy has basically in some measure originated from USA. Okay, so basically what a Federal Reserve does in open market operations, it either sells or purchases US, secu US Treasury securities or government securities or government bonds. So basically when these are commercial banks, so when these commercial banks and this federal, when this federal reserve is selling government securities, when it is selling government securities to commercial banks or other financial houses or to the public, so when this federal reserve is selling the government securities, then obviously these entities are going to pay back money to federal reserve and through this money is, you know, squeezed out of the economy. So federal reserve is taking the control of the money and money is going outside the economy. Now when the money is going outside the economy, the availability of the money will decrease with central banks, the availability of the money will decrease with financial institutions, the availability of the money will decrease with general people. So when the availability of the money will decrease in the market, this becomes a monetary policy which is contraction, which is of contraction. Basically you are contracting the economy, you are not expanding it. Why are you not expanding it? Because you are squeezing the money out of the economy. Now, when you are squeezing the money out of the economy, the commercial banks don't have money. So basically, if some person are going to this commercial bank and asking for money, many persons will be going. Commercial bank is saying that I have very limited amount of money because most of my money I will spend while purchasing these government securities. So commercial bank will increase their interest rates at which the people can borrow the money from the commercial bank. So the interest rate will increase for the people. Because the amount of money, the quantum of money which is left these, when left with these commercial banks will reduce. Similarly, when this Federal Reserve is purchased the 
government securities from the market in that case this federal reserve will introduce money in the economy and now these commercial banks will be having a lot of money people will be having a lot of money now when commercial banks will be having a lot of money when people will come to take this money from commercial bank this money is sitting idle commercial banks need to earn interest on in that in this case so basically now this commercial bank will allow people to borrow money from it on a lower interest rates so this become expansionist monetary policy this is basically expansionist monetary policy because you are expanding the economy how you are increasing the flow of money in the economy you are increasing the cash flow you are increasing the liquidity flow so in that case people are having a lot of money so more businesses will prop up more industrial houses will expand their businesses so this is an expansionary monetary policy and in the first case it was a contradicting monetary policy and all of this thing is done to achieve one thing that is federal fund rate okay now basically one important factor here is that there is a federal open market committee this federal open market committee this decides the monetary policy of federal reserve and whatever open market operations this federal open monetary policy is, uh, committee is doing it is for achieving the targets of the federal fund rate they you know they want to reach near the target of their federal fund rate so for that they are implementing their monetary policy and as i have already told you you know open market operations are one way of implementing the monetary policy of a particular central bank okay so i hope this thing becomes clear to you what is happening in the case of india friends okay in india there is rbi it is very similar to what was happening in the usa rbi is here the one difference between the case in the case between india and usa is that the market of open market operations the market of government securities in usa is very much developed whereas the market of government securities in india is not that much developed so what is happening here rbi and commercial banks in usa kindly remember one thing treasury bills and government securities can be purchased from everyone even from the general public even the general public can purchase those treasury securities whereas in india rbi can sell government securities only to commercial bank so what is what the rbi is doing here if they sell government securities to commercial bank then commercial bank will pay money to rbi so the quantum of money with rbi will increase and the quantum of money available in the economy will decrease so obviously commercial banks will have limited amount of money so when people will approach commercial bank for money they will have to pay a big interest rate because commercial bank don't have too much amount of money and the demand is high so commercial bank will obviously increase their interest rates whereas when this rbi is going to purchase the government securities from the market in that case it is going to pump the money in the economy and when it is going to pump the money in the economy obviously commercial banks will be having more money in this case when people will be approaching this commercial bank this commercial bank will give this money to the common people at a lower interest rate so the people are having money at a lower interest rate they are going to buy more houses industrial houses are going to spend more money in the expanding expansion of their business more businesses will prop up economy is going to boom so basically these are the two monetary policies the second one is the expansionist monetary policy and first one is the monetary policy which is of a contraction nature in this case the money supply is reduced not many businesses will prop up it is basically following the principle of contraction and the second is following the principle of expansion so this was the comparison of these two things friends so the open market option have been explained by you in the description box below friends you will find two links one link is where i compared the securities the government securities which are available in usa with those government securities which are available in india one thing second thing that i have explained the second link is of federal fund rate and repo rate federal fund rate is the benchmark policy rate of usa it is very important because it is interconnected to the global economy how it is interconnected that i will be explaining in that video repo rate is not that much important from the global perspective as federal fund rate is important so i hope this video was helpful for you friends if this video was helpful kindly like this channel subscribe it you can go and follow me on instagram you can talk to me on instagram okay and keep studying friends if you like my work you can support it by liking the videos sharing this videos with your friends on your instagram profiles on other social media angles so thank you for watching this video friends have a great day